My name is Perry LaFortune. I've been an artist for 42 years. I've been doing poles for over 30. I was invited to do this project with Tom as the Ministry of Health was looking for a reconciliation pole, but we don't do reconciliation because we don't believe that we've ever done anything wrong. Um, with conversations that my brother had with the ministry, they came up with the crossing cultures and healing because it sounds better than reconciliation. We had to go to Calvary River to find the log and select the log for this particular project, which was donated by Timber West. This one's a lot different from any other projects that we've ever worked on because um, it has more meaning for what we're doing and how we're doing it. Our mother was a product of the residential schools in the late 30s and the 40s. You know, this is something that she never ever talked about until she was in her 60s. You know, we didn't know of um, some of the things that she suffered through. You know, she talked a lot about that. When she got older, she wanted to let go of some of that hurt and that pain. And I think um, she carried a lot of things with her, but she protected us a lot in that time. Our whole lives, she raised 15 of us, and she taught us all the same way. She gave us all different parts of her. She taught us about humility and about respect and about um, taking care of not only one, other, one another, but others as well, too. So this has a lot to say about the type of person she was. You know, um, she's holding a rope, which is a part of the Great Flood story. The rope is um, the survival of the First Nations people was very, very um, instrumental in that part. So this is why we've included it in this particular piece. When this one's done, incidentally, when this when we finish this completely, it will be a testament to our late mother. She's four foot 10 and tougher than nails. She raised 15 of us pretty much on her own. And then the owl, has the ability to see 360 degrees around it and here and it can see the past speak to the ancestors now and the future remember the past learn from it and try and move on live a good life now and to strive for a better future for the children so this represents in my idea of putting this pole together the frog called a wakas your inner self, your conscience. I'm told you can't build anything without a good foundation. And in life, your conscience is your foundation. You can't build a good life without a good conscience. And then above that is the raven. That's a messenger. He's spoken in a lot of stories of giving us messages. And that's before contact at the story of the raven coming with a message from the creator to make a rope, tie yourself to the Arbutus trees, very strong trees around here. There's a great flood coming. And the ones that listen are here. The stubborn and the lazy ones aren't. So that where we use him as a messenger on this pole. You see down here, she's got a rope in her hand that goes under her hair and comes up comes out from under the wing here and the owl's got it and then it disappears again and it comes up and you see the raven's legs are staggered one higher than the other he's got it too and the rope instead of you know tying yourself to our beauties it ties this whole story together so you can understand that he's sending the message of the past present and future and respect the grandmothers and that's to help the to understand the crossing cultures and healing. So people understand that we're not so different than a lot of other cultures around the world. It's important for people not to forget about what's happened, but to remember and to share 
and to not make those mistakes again. You know, we have so many people that have been through so many things and we're still here.